What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweet called Coria. Now this is a free quick reply tweak. So it's actually pretty cool and it's themable as well. So this is actually still in beta so there's going to be some bugs. I actually just upgraded it on my iPhone 5S and it was working before but after I upgraded it, it didn't work. So keep that in mind if you're on a 5S. Now let's go ahead and go into the settings here and you can see if we tap on here you're just going to tap on messages and then you're going to enable it. It's going to be disabled by default. And then down here, you're going to be able to select your theme. So default seven is going to be for iOS seven and default right here up at the top is going to be for iOS six theme. So we're going to go with the iOS seven theme and then right down here you have passcode. So basically if you get a notification and you try to open up your messages, then you're going to have to type in a passcode if you enable this just by typing in your passcode right here. So we'll go ahead and enable that just for now. Now this can be any uh, number. You can put a whole bunch of numbers in, but we're just going to put in uh, one one for the sake of this video. You also have this toggle right here where you can require when it's locked and you can require when it's unlocked. So this is basically going to uh, initiate the passcode right there. So we're going to do it when it's unlocked. Now we're going to go back and you can see right up here that it's going to allow extensions. So this is going to be uh, enabled for you know like Tweetbot, WhatsApp, I mean a whole bunch of different other stuff and hopefully that's going to be coming right up in the near future. All right, and the next thing you want to do is set up your activator action for Quick Compose. So we're going to go to anywhere and we're going to set this up to let's go with slide along the screen on the left from bottom to top. So you can see that it's already set right here, but if it's not, then we can scroll down here and tap on Coria. So now it's set. And if we go back here, you can see if I slide along the screen, it's going to bring this up right here. And we enabled the passcode, so we're going to have to actually type in the passcode right there before it pops up. Once it opens up, you'll have your recent contacts right here. So you can just tap on them, and it's going to automatically open that up. So let's go ahead and tap on this one. And here, as you can see, we have the conversation. Now notice that I sent myself a photo, and it doesn't actually show up right here, but you can tap on it to view. So you can see there's the photo right there, and all you have to do to make it go away is tap it, and it goes right away. And here's your conversation right here. Now you can either close it, you can attach a photo from the camera or the library, you can type in a message, or you can open up the entire application right here just like that. All right, so now if I send myself a test uh, text message right here I should get a banner right up here at the top and I can tap on that and it's going to allow you to open this right up in quick reply so this is going to work in any type of application so you can see if I send myself another text message and then I get out and then let's open up the iTunes store and then I get the banner I tap on that it doesn't close out of the app so this is very lightweight and very easy to use. And the really nice thing about this is it's going to be themable and a lot of other people are going to be able to add extensions and you're going to be able to customize this the way you like it. Now keep in mind, like I said, this still is in beta, but if you want to go ahead and grab it, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to copy the repo and add that and then you can go ahead and download it. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com. <laughs>